Welcome to Paint Basket online classes and today we're going to be looking at something different in watercolour and it's something that most, or I'll put it another way, a lot of artists are afraid of doing and that is putting figures into their painting and uh, they, to many it's, it's, it's a real hardship and they're frightened of it. But let's see if I can do something today where um, I can help you not to be afraid of putting in. Um, but we're going to be doing it not in an a re absolute realistic way. We're going to be putting it as figures in a distance. Because quite often landscapes that's got figures in it shows there's some life. And many there are artists that don't uh, make any landscapes without figures but the majority don't put them in because they find it a bit too difficult so let's go over and have a look at something but the main thing is the proportions and how to figure out shapes so let's go and have a look at uh, what I have for you on the screen and here we see just some shapes some figures in all different angles, the way they stand, etc. Um, let's have a look at another one. There's also some with just some different shapes in. But if you notice these ones, every one of them are standing and looking straight towards you. In other words, you don't have someone that's sideways or actually walking. These are all standing still. <coughs> that's fine. But when you have somebody that's walking, you have a slightly different shape. So let's go and have a look at our easel. And what I want to do is to please <coughs> right. <coughs> Let's use the go here, and I have some sepia. Let's take some sepia. Let's do a little bit of a drawing here. What do we have? Let's say there's a figure, and it's say that tall. And for an average person, the head goes into the figure eight times. So if you're making your figure that tall, make a little mark, put one in the center. That's where the groin is. If you put one in the center there, that's where the nipples are. And one in the center there, that's where the knees are. Now that's one, two, three, four. So if you d take the top one, divide that one in half, and let's do that. So there's the head. Now the head is never circular. The head is in a shape that looks like this. It's, it's egg-shaped. and it's slightly longer than what it is taller longer than what is wi uh, wider rather and then here you have your ears and then on top of that is actually where you have the hair so that is from the top of the skull to the bottom and the eyes are in exactly halfway into there but now <coughs> let's take a shape and take it as someone that's actually walking. And here is a is your don't forget when your the hips are in here, the hips are slightly narrower than the top for them. I'm talking about average people now. And when it's walking, you're gonna have a shape that's gonna be looking something 
similar to that. And of course, then you have the hands down the side, and you have a bit of a shadow. <coughs> but notice the shape of this one here. It's like a carrot. So if you want to pe people walking, just think of the carrot shape. So let's you do another one. And also, what happens is, People are inclined to make the head much too big. What they'll do, they'll start with the head, and they st let's do on here, they start with the head, and then they put the body in, and you find the head is too big. When you're doing something like that, take a figure, Let's do one that's right in the distance. I'm doing very um, basic right at this stage. And what you do, put a little dot. Just a little dot. <coughs> and the big secret here is what happens is there's a tiny, uh, let me do this a bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I've got a Get a shape here, if someone is walking. And then when I'm going to put the head on, I'm going to do that. Now look, there's a bit of a gap between the head and there. If I have to close that up, right, let's do another one next to it. And here you have the... Um, the do that. It's not quite as easily seen as someone. In other words, this year, if if someone's got a, um, a, a thick coat on, or um, it's a lady with long hair, for argument's sake, that can be like that. But in general, <coughs> what you'll do, you will just put it there like that. Now, let's take this one, and let's say we want to make it walking. You can do this a shadow. In other words, that leg is higher up. And there. <coughs> it's okay. Let me go, t before we go any further, don't forget, these are all just shapes at the moment, eh? Hey? Let's go to the screen quickly and uh, show you some <coughs> that, that I've done in the past. Let's see, let's go to this one here. And there we see some <coughs> figures. Now you've got the shapes. Some of it, you can see the, um, the carrot form. And the others are walking. Sometimes you have the, all the different methods there. And you can see where I've showed this one, the leg up. You can see the one on the, the, the third figure from, from the left the one holding the handbag, that just that little line is a little bit higher up, and that shows you that the leg is in the walking position higher up. Uh, the man next to her, <coughs> you can see that the foot, left foot is slightly higher placed than the one on the right, and that tells you that the left foot is gone forward as well. And also you get a little shadow underneath the foot, We'll come along and show you that they they actually on the ground, and you can see the heads are smaller and almost sort of touching the one. One on the left is the one where you have the head straight onto the shoulder. But uh, you can have them in in different colours. We'll go into that shortly. But here we do that. Okay, <coughs> so. 
let's, let's, let's uh, copy those ones onto here so that you can, uh, you can have that as a reference so let's, and, and for, for practicing. So let's go back to the easel <coughs> and let's, let's copy those ones and make them a little bit bigger. But first of all, before I even do the head, I do the body first. If you're going to do the head first, you're going to have it, the head is going to be miles too big. Everybody tends to make it much bigger than what it should be. So let's make a bigger one here. And I'm just using a, a single color. Yeah, it's just... And notice I'm just using uh, pretty loose. Now I'm going to put the head on just a little. So we have that one there. Let's do another one. And we do the other one across here. Just do it loosely like I'm doing. There's the one, the other one coming down this end. Then here we have the shadow. I'll put the shadow there, across there. And let's say there's an arm coming down this side. And put the head. <coughs> so there's, there's the one figure walking along. You see how rough it is, but yet when you put them into a, a, a landscape where the figures are much, much smaller, let, let's say for, you've got a, um, a scene and you have a street coming along and you have some buildings and you have a pavement There's some buildings on this side you've got a pavement and you've got some windows etc and there's a door across here and you want to put people in uh, let me just get another color Let's take a nice dark blue for argument's sake, just so it stands out. And you're going to put a person inside there, and you're going to and the sun's coming from this side, so you have a bit of a shadow across there. And you, let's say you have a, another little child, put a little dot, do that, and there. So and that's, that's the type of figure that you're going to be putting in. And otherwise you can also come along and let's say you've got a, there's someone walking here and there's, assume there's no building on that side there. Oh, there is a building. Let's say this one here has got a Red shirt. And a pair of blue trousers. And yeah, it gets a On there on this side, and we have the head. There you have somebody walking down the street. When you have these ones, you 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 you're going to keep them basically this size, or you can make them that size. But whatever you do, come along and don't be scared. Practice these things. Nobody's going to laugh at you. You at home, practice all these things as much as you want. So let's do that other one there with the lady. 
And last time I'll, I'll take a blue just to make it look a bit different. And she's a little bit shorter. Oop, this is real dark blue. This is anyway. She's a little bit shorter than the rest. Now she's got dress on. That'll come right down to here. coming down here and she's holding a handbag notice I'm leaving a little gap inside there and she's here now she's got nice long hair so like there there's, so there's the two of them going down the road and that's basically what you need you can also change change your color do the the other one that we saw and this is very very rough so let's take a nice little burnt sienna color and come along and just you now I'm going to put the head I'm going to now I'm judging the size of the of the figure there's one coming along. Let's take another one. Take it from the head, and I'm going to do something else. And he's almost got like that that running thing. And his front is a man going along. Now these are all the type of figures that you can do. Let's go and have a look at a, at another one. Now you can see the two on the right. The one is facing the the one and they're talking and the one's got his hand up in the gesture. And then the two on the left are also uh, walking. So there you have slightly sideways ones. And let's add those in. So let's, back, let's go back over. Put it on, rather on the other side. There we go. Put that there. And we're still going to be using just shapes at this stage. Don't worry about color when you're starting these things. Get shapes. Learn to do the shapes. So that one is it's like the walking, so he's got a slightly angled in there, and then you've got a leg that's coming down this side, one that's coming down That's way like that. You have a hand that's going out the side, and you have your face there. And we have the other one also across here. I'm just going to separate them slightly. Notice they still all that basic carrot shape, some of them coming down. He's got a jacket on for argument's sake, and then you've got this one leg that's coming down here. They're also walking in like in step. There's a bit of a bit of a bit of a shoe there. That one's coming down. You've got your shoe, 
add the add the head. I need a bit of a get the shapes. Just get the shape. Don't don't try and make them too big at this stage. <coughs> Keep them like this until you've got the the image implanted in your subconscious mind so that when you do these figures you want to be able to draw on your subconscious mind by and the only way you get it <coughs> planted into your subconscious mind is by continuous practicing practice 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 do it over and over again <coughs> just don't I'm, I'm using um, proper watercolor paper here at the moment but you can practice it on ordinary typing paper. Go along, practice on typing paper. Do it and don't throw them away. Punch them and put them in a file. <coughs> you never know when you're going to be using these as references for, for other paintings that once you've got going, you can always improve on them, but your basic shape is always there. And you can pick out, OK, I've got a picture Okay, I want to do th just that one in the in the painting, or I want a, a, a bloke that's just walking towards me. I've got that one there, or I've got another one with a little uh, a, a lady and a kid. You got that one there. You can also do ones practice a little, just a little figure of a dog for argument's sake, as well, <coughs> and add them because often they take them for a walk. As you can put those in just uh, in a figure just somebody taking a dog for a walk will add tremendous impact to your painting so don't forget to add figures in practice 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 this is the only thing let's let's do another one <coughs> do these a little bit bigger and let's take that shape what you need to do is to get take photo get photographs unfortunately I forgot to take some photographs with me today to the studio, but you can take that and use a, a, a photograph and um, bring it down into into a basic shape. She's holding something, and then we have the head slightly to that side now because she's looking towards that figure. <coughs> and then we have the other person on this side. These are all lovely, nice little practice to do. What you can do is, let's say, put that more towards the left side, because facing that way. Remember the little figure that we had up top there? That one is coming down. He's got his little hand up the top here. And the leg coming down. Yep. I'm using the blue instead of the. So I'm doing these very roughly. One hand there, and now, now we have the leaning towards that side. And then you have your two shadows. Let's say the shadow is coming that side. You've got the little So there we have our two figures. <coughs> So let's go and look 
at another one. so small. Okay, let's enlarge it. Okay, there we go. <coughs> let's put that one there onto the onto the left side. And here we have a group. Now this time just look at the colours make this a little bit bigger. Let's copy that one there. So we're going to take some real real nice and wet. There you got your shadows down the side. Take some blue, let that merge. Take some green. See how quickly, how rough. properly so let's clean that out the yellow onto the piece of tissue then here we have one down the side if you want those colors to emerge you need to have it quite wet That one quite right, but anyway, let's merge that in with the one next door. And just merge that together. One is behind the other one. So you can fix up your little mistakes. We'll get it wet. Take a little bit of red. There are three of them going for a walk. Now you put those in a in a, in 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 a setting. <coughs> those merge quite nicely in, into the other. Especially when you're doing street scenes, there's a whole stack of people and they're disappearing down the pavement. All these little ones just like you've got them here, you can change these colors and you can get them coming quite nice and put them into, into, into uh, a landscape or a city scene 
or in the house or wherever. Let's have a look at another one. Carefully into this one. <coughs> and work that one. I want you to have a look and see. There's no detail in these. There's no detail in the face. You don't even see the shoes. You don't see the hand. You can see the brolly and you've got an idea of a, of a, of a tuxedo there. That's all. And yet you can make that fairly big and look what it looks like. You put that into a scene and especially if you're doing your scene which is slightly um, a loose style, these but perfectly. But even with this one here, you can come along and if you, if you want to, and it's a pretty close figure, you can add a little bit of more detail into that one. But don't go overboard in your detail. That's the big secret of these ones here, is don't go overboard with detail. Okay, so let's have a look at these shoulders. I'm going to thin this waters down. So I don't have it pitch, pitch black. So let's do it here. There's You've got his shoulders okay, like that. And oops, uh, let me just uh, do that. I'm just trying to do his, his tuxedo. So the center part is a little bit darker, so let's take this bit here. That's coming down. There. I think I may not have enough space down the bottom here, but anyway, let's get the basic done. It comes down, and I'm merging that into that. You've got his hand this way. He's holding his umbrella. So he's got his, there's the elbow coming down. And then have the, let's put that in. And then that will come down further. He's got his hands there, so let's do that. And that will come down to his feet down this side here. So we have a standing. Now we have a little touch of uh, orange, so a little bit of yellow, a little touch of red. And then he's got nice little cut black hair, so let's put some. too far up and then we have his brolly as he's walking along Put a little to just show up his hand
you got your little bow tie, wait there, it's dry. Let's add your little bow tie there. There we have the man walking along down the street. Put his dog on the top of his head. And he's got a, let's put that brim on there, and he's got a little hat on. Let's make a nice little hat. There we go. So here we have another nice little figure. Here we have somebody walking, and looks like he's wearing a back backpack, and he's smoking a cigarette. Naughty man, naughty man. Okay, but anyway, let's go to another sheet. We can make this one a little bit bigger. Uh, just want to make sure there's nothing going to be running here. So, okay, let's take this one off. that to the side. <coughs> and let's go to our blank sheet of paper and put that one up in the right hand corner and let's do this time a little bit of a bigger one. So let's go again. Now we're doing it bigger, we need to do our little check. So you, what you can do is with a pencil point you can make a little, little dots, but I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, which is much lighter than normal, so let's see. I'm going to use the top of his head, it's going to be there, and let's say his feet are down into this area, halfway, his groin is there, there, so his head is up into that area, okay. And uh, it's a little bit light for you to see there, but I just want to get that in the right proportions. So now he's, he's, he's got a, a white shirt on, okay, so let's come along. And we need to, let's darken the background a bit. Let's give it like a bit of a nice little blue-gray. Let's do a little test. Okay, that's, let me add, let me add quite a bit more blue to it. Just to make it, there's not too too dark. Okay. <coughs> so let's now sketch his, his outline. His head, his, his shoulder is going to come out here. And I'm going to leave a space there for his head. Now I'm going to do, this is negative painting now, eh? Okay, now, Doing the, it's just a complete outline. Here, he's got his other one is coming in. We have a area there, an area across here. We see the gaps, and let's let's. Right, let's put, let's just put his little rucks, his strap on there. The strap's going to come in this area, the next one is going to come down into here. And then, he has his, his groin, and his shirt is a little bit lower down. And then we have his trousers coming down. His knee is in this area. I'll put a little dot there. This one's coming down. And um, about here. Now 
this one will sort of come down, that one out a bit, and I'm going to give him a walking stance. The area of the knees and this area here, down, and then that will come down to there. <coughs> Get his shirt is lower down, his belt is up into, into this area. Extra fact that okay, now we need to. Shape of the head. And there's color in the background now. Whenever you've got a white shirt or any light clothing, to be able to show it up, you need to have some darker area behind it. Of course, here we've got dark trousers, and that's going to be in the dark against the light, so they just, that just vanish away there. Let's come across here. That will just vanish across. So there we start in getting a bit of a. Uh, actually, I'm going to make this is shirt is a little bit low down. I'm going to bring it up here. Let's, let's do his trousers. So this is dark in this area. Light is coming from the right, so this, this part here is going to be a little bit darker. A shadow area and a shadow area up top here. down. So all we want is just the the basics. There's no nothing that's going to be very, very dark here. Okay. <coughs> now the shirt is white, but I'm going to give it a very, 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 very light blue color. I'm going to just clean my brush here. To give it the reflection of the sky. It's not there. Lots and lots of water. Let me just see. I just want to give it over just an off color. Oh, okay, let's just let us leave it white and. It's a bit too too dark. Shadow. Light 
light's coming from this side, so you're going to have shadow in here. Shirt, pocket, now we need to have a little bit of uh, orangey colour. going to try and put fingers on. Don't try and put fingers. Do that. Need a little bit of a darker shade this side, so we're just going to drop a little bit inside there. See the shadow under the chin, under his ear, light's coming from that side, so this side will be a bit lighter than the other. In the meantime, let's give him some, some nice brown shoes. Is this one is going to look different to the other one because this is straightforward. That one is knee is bent and it's out that way. Actually, this one is coming a bit more forward, so let's bring this one actually down a bit. And we can bring that. Down a bit there to give him that. This is more forward to the other. Get rid of that sh sharp line on that side. And there's a bit of shadow underneath here. If you want to, you can put a bit of a bit of shadow. A bit deeper shadow here. There and where the arms are. And the sun's coming from that side. And this side of the shirt is lifted. And we just add that little piece of shadow underneath there. A little t touch under the ch chin, but very little. Now, that being a bit bigger, we're going to put some detail in the face. But now, we're not going to go to complete, complete detail. So I just want the face to dry a little bit, so let's put the hair dryer on. Now I'm not going to go to black, black. I'm going to a very light color. And I'm going to just test it on my piece of paper. That is very much lighter. You can see the difference between there. Now, 
is looking slightly downwards. So get the halfway mark. And he I'm just going to do that. That's all. Don't try and put the nose in. I'm just going to darken this a little bit here. And that's about all that you, you, you need to do. If you want to put something with the nose, just put a very tight, this one a bit longer. Just a, a little mark. Let's make these eyes a little bit darker. I want them to be more prominent than, than the rest. So there we have. So there we have the face. We have that coming in. And if you want to, you can also. a few little buttons. If it's bigger, you can come along and put a bit of a shadow there with a shirt that lifts the hands out. So there we have that, and that, that's all you need to do in, in, your, in your other painting. Don't try and go and be too detailed. Practice these things. Right, we've got to put the shadow in here. So I'm going to have a slightly purpley shadow. So let's get that to some, some red. Oops, a bit too, too red. Let's get them. That's all right. He's on the ground, so he's got a slightly... And that's nice and dry, so we can add a bit of a shadow in here. It's enough ground. There we go. There we see. He's on the... So there we have it. There's butter, so... See what else we can do. You've done those. Okay, let's Let's do some bits on, on figure work here now. Just play around. So let's clear that. We have let's say you've got somebody running and you have this running this way. So you have figure I'm just getting shapes here now. Shadow. 
And this one's arm is going to be here. This one will come out from here. Oh, it looks funny at the moment. <laughs> There's no head. But we will add the head on now. So let's just get the shape first. Now, they're running right at the goalpost. What happens is the head is back. So you've got the head is going to come out here. No shapes. Oops, made that a bit too. That's all right. That's that was a little bit of a nose there. I think yes. All right. Let's say this is a lady. All right. Let's. Yeah, here's flying around the back. Off she's going. Try all the different, all the different figures that you can. It's, it's right. I'll tell you what. Let's go <coughs> to those other ones I had in the beginning. And let's put that to these ones across here. And let's do these figures. So that's that's good practice. Assume that these are now photographs, and you've got these um, coming along. I want you to notice well too. You see the head. Look at that. It's 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 not round. It's not round. It's sh it's egg shaped. It, most of these ones are egg shaped. It's a big no no for a round face unless the, the person that you're emulating is has has a round face don't forget all these are average figures so let's let's go to here and let's put that there in the corner and let's emulate some of these ones here see again head lost i'm just going to do the shapes again That that had coming there. Just do these very quickly. No, don't practice. Get your eye and hand coordination going. That's that's the big thing here. And if you don't get it exactly as per in proportion to what you have in the other one, don't forget, people are not always in the same proportion anyway. And let's say this has got a jacket here. And he's got his pair of trousers. Takes the out at the angle.
will be fairly dark anyway, but anyway, let's add a bit of color to it. Always start with the head small. You can always make it bigger. If you make it small, uh, too big, very difficult to make it smaller. So always, you can always start small and then bring it out until you have the right. coming along, standing at a different angle. Hands coming straight down. Let's get the basics done first. Got their hands sort of on our hips, uh, but first let's uh, get the body done first before we put the hand on. Down, and the skirt will come down there. You've got that there coming this way. The other one out here. Okay, now let's put the bat, and you have a hand here. That one, and this one comes down, and you've got that like a little box arrangement there, so let's put the box in first. In other words, I'm doing some negative painting. Then we can add the, the other, that shoulder goes up a little bit, down. Elbow, and then you have the Head lost. I've got the hair coming down.
So there we have that one. Notice I've not connected there, I've not connected there. I've just left that exactly as it is. If you want to color that one, all right, then we can put that in, but let it dry. All right, let's put a color in. But I've not connected the, the black, I've not connected the dark to there. I've left it completely on its own, so let's do that. See, these ones here is the same as if that those were an actual photograph. And you can take a photograph and you reduce it down to this type of, this type of painting. So uh, let, let's say she's got a nice yellowy, orangey blouse on there. And we can do... Fill that in, and now you can sort of touch that, and touch that. So there we have that, actually a little bit dark. So here's my tissue. Mine is still wet, we can still light it a bit. We don't want to push that down again, again, pick that up, get, press it again. Yeah, well that's looking a bit better, let's do a bit more. Yeah, right, that's much better. Now we can see. Here you have your, your lady. And let's do, let's do one more. Let's take the man there with his suitcase. Notice in this lesson I'm not using too much color because I want you to use the black and uh, the darker color and get used to shapes. The main thing here is to get used to the shape. Once you got used to the shape, adding color is very easy after that. So, right. Uh, notice also I'm not doing no pencil work at all. I'm training my eye and my hand to give me stuff. If, if it's not 100% of proportion, it doesn't matter. As long as it is optically right, that's all that matters. So, let's... Uh, Right, he's got his shoulder coming down a little bit. Down there, so let's just work up this area here. He's got a little tie. Down there, and then that gets bigger and joins into that bit. Then we have the other sh part of his jacket, which is half open, and then goes right down to here. Let's get that down. There goes the way down. No head yet, no head. All oh, this is shapes, there's nothing in between. Goes right down. Your head is right down the bottom here, so let's get the shape on the right hand side. Head comes down. There, the jacket is open a bit here. hand in his pocket. And then the body comes down the side. We're not showing any detail, we're just doing the outline, so that will come all the way down. In the meantime, I'm judging all this proportions as I go along. Down here, somewhere, you've got his 
briefcase. Okay, so case that he's carrying. His hand comes down. That's all that you see there. Now we need to do the bottom bit. Check his one leg. This foot is facing towards you. Now, now we can put the head on. Uh, and again, you can see the head is not connected. Now the head bone connected to the neck bone, the neck bone connected to the back bone. <laughs> okay, it's not connected here. So let's put that down. And that's going to come up this side. little bit closer up there like that, but not 100% connected. Let's bring that maybe down a bit that way. Now, there we have that gentleman standing along and doing that. So I think uh, there's something, I've got a little space up the top end there. Let's see what we can do. If I have anything interesting. I'm just thinking what we can do. All right. Let's just make up another figure. Let's use some color this time. Oh, some, let's say you've got to take some of this bluey color, bluey gray. Just mix a bit of blue gray on the side. Where's my other piece of paper that I use was for testing? That's a nice little grey colour. Okay, use that for some shade. But let's do a little bit of plotting here, eh? You've got a person. Shadow here. Creases in the shirt. Shadow along the top. Let's 
Let's take some of my. What shall we take? Uh, uh, let's take some blue. Nice. A little bit of cobalt blues. And a little bit of darker colour into it. So let's say we got a. Well, he's standing at an angle. a little bit short, so let's make them a bit longer. I'll see if I can clear up those a bit when it's a bit drier. Maybe a little touch of orange. Oops, that's red. Red, red. We need a little touch of orange. So where's my tissue? Okay, that's not too bad. So let's uh, put a bit of a face here. And let's put a nice big hat. Let's put one of these little sombrero. It's Take some burnt sienna. Let's say we got a nice little sombrero. Oh, let's see. We make him in, make him into a Mexican. Let's make him into a Mexican. And they got this lovely big hat on the top. So let's. <laughs> Way you make the sun come from that way. So, have a shadow, put a bit of a ring at the bottom, just throwing shadow on the back of the head as well. Work a bit here. Bring down, you got that and that. Yeah, okay, that's it. We'll come down to about here. Let's give him some nice like brown shoes. And you need some arms as well too. So let's add some arms onto him. A little bit too red. Let's and let's put the other and another arm coming down this side. And it looks almost like he's <laughs> to put some some 
revolvers on the side here. It looks like he's just ready for a gunfight. And down there, I'm not just just shapes, just shapes. And here he's got figures out here, right? He's really, nearly ready for a gunfight. Got his hands ready to grab. Okay, now we need to add a bit of shadow in here. It's almost like these things they got the, what they call the chaps on their legs where they go for horse riding. Okay, so right, let's what should we do? Let's Give him a nice reddish type shirt. So let's get a bit here of uh, Lisbon Crimson. But very, very light though. So let's give it a bit of a glaze. So you can play around and make up your own little make up your own little figures. Put the hair dryer on that and see if I can get rid of those tiny little marks. And before I do that, let's add some shadow. The light's coming from that side, so we got some shadow out that way. Now this one is running, so let's do that. Oops. It's the hair dryer on quickly. If I can get rid of that. As much of it as I can. Fortune is not it's not a staining colour that I've used. If it was a staining colour, very difficult to get rid of it. So that one we can part of the shadow. There you go. There we go. So Let's do a quick little recap. Here we have the the last bit that we've done. And you can practice those. Let's take a look. And this one here is what we did in the beginning. So there's enough to, to play around with, practice with, etc. And uh, in some future watercolors, I'll add some of these little figures in so you can see how that fits in. So I hope you like this little tutorial. And uh, enjoy yourself painting all these little figures. The more you practice, the better you become. And uh, many years back, Gary Player, South African, was a, uh, became a world champion golf player. And the journalist said to him one day, you know, you are just plain lucky. Gary Player looked at him and said, you know what? The more I practice, the luckier I get. So take that little bit of advice from Gary Player and apply it to your painting. You won't be sorry. So from me, until next time, keep well. Ciao for now.